Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Governor Gordon Obaseki has said he's re returning Edo Vigilante. This is few days or few weeks to him leaving the office as the governor of Edo State. The deputy governor, who is an APC member, by the way, the governor is in P a PDP. The deputy governor is an APC. The deputy governor, Philip Shaibo, has reacted, has kicked regarding this matter. Philip Shaibo tackles Obaseki over plan to return Edo Vigilante, saying... It is on head of Obaseki should not be doing this. Obaseki should, should go and relax and stop trying to, you know, uh, cause problem in the state as he's leaving. Uh, because these vigilantes are being paid. And what that means is that if a new government comes in and the new government is trying to stop the vigilante, they will see him as working against them. And of course, that will bring about loggerheads, you know, already. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Philip Shaibo tackles Obaseki over plan to return Edo vigilantes. The deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibo, has countered Governor Gordon Obaseki's position to return the suspended Edo State Security Network after September 21st governorship election. He accused the governor of taking actions that will cause chaos in the state by the time he leaves office on November the 12th. The governor have barely days to leave in office, yet he wants to create a situation for the new governor-elect. What is he trying to do? You are returning them, then by the time you leave, they will say the new governor does not want them because they are being paid by the state. And the new governor is only trying to settle down and understand what will be doing with his administration. Fellow Shaibo stated this on Tuesday while speaking to journalists after a closed-door meeting with the Commissioner of Police, where he also faulted Obaseki's decision to appoint a traditional ruler for Ikbele in Esako, East local government area, which he reportedly caused some death. And this will also cause problem because the new governor will not be will not feel free to remove somebody whom has just been appointed and we see the new governor as an enemy. The governor had, after the state security council meeting for October on Monday, said that since the election was over and vigilante would be brought, the vigilantes will be brought back for the anticipated rise in accident and criminal activities during the embedded month, the embers month, among, among other reasons. But Philip Shaibu told journalists, I have to come to see the commissioner of police to explain to him that the adult vigilante cannot resume work. The adult vigilante that has ha, that we have constituted today is to cause mayhem to political appointees. This is what Obaseki is trying to do, cause chaos in the state as he's leaving. As the deputy governor of the state, I have security reports, both official and unofficial. So I'm aware that the governor and his team want to get them get back the vigilante to use them to cause disharmony in the state and go after apc members that are protesting and saying we don't want abnormalities every citizen of this country has the right to protest and also protest his but protect his or her interest the pdp protested at the INEC office and apc also protested at the at the same place to ensure that there was no tempering of election materials or manipulation before they go to court but we wanted to they want to use the vigilante to intimidate the people this is obaseki i know him too well what i expect the police to do now is to recover the arms from the from those vigilantes in the arms of those vigilantes as we speak the nigerian police is doing well some of the personnel that came during the election and their equipment are still around the post election security issues so why is the governor such in a hurry to bring back the vigilante these very security personnel that were this charged to the state are still very much in the state some decision the governor is making are causing problem in the state imagine four weeks to go he's leaving office yes he's giving of he's leaving office and now entitling some traditional rulers and putting them in position. What do you think this is? No, no, no sentiment. Tell me the truth. What stopped the governor from the past four years or eight years from installing the Ipele high chief? I told you that some people died on Monday because of this singular action. 
the, he has installed the man now, and if the governor comes in and says the man is no longer there, what do you think? Is that not an enmity Obaseki has set in place? Obaseki wants to cause problem for the state. When I say it, people do not understand. This man do not mean well for the people of Edo State. He's only after himself, and now he wants to live. He wants to cause trouble for everyone. People must be wise and open their eyes. This governor is not doing well. He's living and he wants to cause trouble for every single person. We must be wise. I, I want the security personnel to take this on board and ensure that Obaseki do not leave trouble for others. He must be careful and we must not allow him to continue in this way. Well, now the deputy governor, they say any house when he divide against himself, what's the result? He cannot stand. They yeah, ask that only God divide against itself. Now trouble with that now. That house cannot stand. That is the very main problem that we are faced with today. Obaseki na PDP. Uh Ego na APC. They are two they support different cause. So how you want me to think they go? Of course, there will be the different opinions, different suggestions. Obaseki say me they bring vigilante. They say because na Ember month in the come out in less than four weeks. Felicia Ibu say no. He say security personnel still there, there around. 35,000 were deployed to the state and they've not retrieved them. The IGP have not told them to go somewhere else. Why is Obaseki bringing in vigilante? Obaseki has gone to install a high chief, you know, like a high chief in Ipele, it's uh, just a few days before he goes. Philip Shai will say, Why Baseki not come out, not, not install the man since four years, since the second tenor, or since the first tenor? It's always not Baseki want to not to cause problem for the newly elected governor. So that when problem dig ground, when the new governor come in, Kotepo say, Well, say, Ah, you can no longer be there. We, we, are, we are checking things, we are making sure things are in place. We'll put you when time comes, then there is problem. He says Obaseki knows exactly what he's doing. He wants to cause problem for the newly elected governor. Well, is that true? I don't know. This is a Felix Shaibu's opinion. And he has gone to see the commissioner of police in Edo State explaining his concerns. And he wants matter to be immediately handled so that, um, you know, things can be done differently. Guys, what do you see? Do you see any of this being true or relevant? What Felix Shaibu is saying? Is there cause for action? Is there cause for alarm? Should the people be at alert and ensure that they know, you know? So there are just very various reasons why things are the way they are. Well, my people, now so we see them, uh, you know, when we are like on the ground like this, so everybody needs to rise up. May we watch and see now. We go know the end at the beginning. We go know who they right and who they wrong. Uh, you know, say personal differences still they come into play. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.